Hey everyone, it's Masterpiece, and today I got another Vintage Collection review for you. This time it's going to be Cassian Andor himself from the Andor series. So this is the front, not a bad image. He doesn't come with too many accessories, he only comes with his blaster. We got the nice Andor logo right there. If we turn it around, we see that this one is VC261. Comes with a lot of great other action figures in the case that this one comes in. Um, along with Cal Kestis, the Imperial Light Cruiser, Luke Skywalker. I really want the Clatoonian Raider. I want like a few of those, just so I could probably put in my uh, Jabba Sail Barge or something like that, and at least two artillery stormtroopers. But I haven't been able to find these guys yet. I do have them on pre-order, but who knows when they're gonna drop, so. I've seen Cassian Andor and Valsartha popping up in stores lately, so those aren't gonna be too hard to find. Anyways, let's check this figure out. All right, so not too much in terms of accessories, but he looks great. The jacket looks good. It's made out of a soft rubbery plastic. He's got the rocker ankles knee joint, swivel at the thigh. He has a ball, ball joint hips, so that's good. As for the torso, you can twist and crunches are a little, feel a little weird. I don't know, it doesn't feel too secure, honestly, but arms are good. Elbows, wrists. His wrist can move up and then down, but because of the sleeve, you can't really do that. It gets in the way of articulation. I don't know if you can see that joint there. You can't really look up because of his hair in the back, along with the uh, jacket this coat also gets in the way of articulation but maybe if we were to take this off his articulation would be a little bit better and uh, he doesn't really look down all that much but he could look side side to side fairly good This is the blaster that he comes with. I could just get it to focus. There we go. That's his blaster from the Andor series. And it doesn't look like he has a holster for it. So no holster for that firearm but if it's in his trigger finger this trigger finger arm fairly well there we go there's the first pose And third pose. Pose him next to this Tuscan Raider. And now some more size comparison next to Ewok Paplu. Now 
Now we'll do another size comparison with him next to IG-11. Not a bad figure at all. I'm surprised that he doesn't have a holster on him just to carry his blaster. I love that he has the ball joint hips. Looks like Hasbro's actually been listening to us recently. And um, I enjoy it. It's a good figure. Anyways, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you found your artillery, stormtroopers, or any other figures from this from this set. But that's it for me. Peace.